A plastic surgery almost cost me my life. I inherited my dad's legs, my mom's eyes, and the nose from my dog. Your baby is so cute. How old is he? Three months and yours? Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I hope she grows up with a great personality. Honey, we need to talk about our daughter. About Jana? No. Chloe? No. Lucy? No, the one with the big nose. Oh, Lily. I asked my parents for their support to get a nose job when I was 14, but... No. But I... Those things are too expensive, and we don't have money for luxuries. What about the pool table you bought? The what table? Nothing. Shut up, girl. Don't stick your nose where it doesn't belong. Ha ha ha. In search of a merciful miracle, I even went to ask my most religious aunt for help. But that didn't work either. No, my dear. I only support the cause of our Lord. And he gave you that nose for a reason. It's probably the punishment you're paying for your parents' sins. But you're my favorite aunt. Please. <laughs> I'm your only aunt. But I already told you, no, that nose wouldn't improve, even if you were born again. Since I didn't have their support, I had to take desperate measures. A plastic surgery was incredibly expensive, so I had to find a way to generate my own income. Especially because I needed to find a place that would agree to operate on a minor. Let's just say I didn't go to the best or most recommended specialist in town. And here, my friends, is where the torture for my bad decisions begins. The anesthesia was so strong that I didn't feel a thing. He could have drilled into my nasal cavities, and I wouldn't have known what was happening. But six hours later, I woke up, ready to meet the new me. Can I see the result now, doctor? Don't call me doctor. Call me Picasso, because only Picasso can take this, and this, to transform it. Into a princess. I had seen beautiful noses, but mine was definitely perfect. I was dying to show it off to my judgmental family. To my friends at school. And even to my dog. But there was a small problem. I couldn't breathe. In fact, I think even Larry, my dog's best friend, breathed better than I did. I thought it was because my nose was still very swollen and hadn't fully healed. But time went on, and the better I looked, the worse I felt. <laughs> Doctor, do you think you could check on me? I'm not feeling well. And you are? Lily, you did my nose job a month ago. The number you have dialed does not exist. Please never call again. <gasps> I had bragged so much to my family about how beautiful my new nose turned out, without their help, that I preferred to hide the little problem from them. I had to learn to live with very little air for three years. But things only got much worse with some pandemic and new hygiene rules. My quality of life definitely started to decline because I couldn't sleep well. Food didn't taste like anything. And I couldn't even exercise anymore because I got winded easily and couldn't breathe. Hey, it got so bad that a simple cold ended up landing me in the hospital. We need to take an x-ray. It seems like irreparable damage from some time ago. The results only confirmed what the doctor already suspected. The plastic surgeon perforated your turbinates. That will prevent you from breathing properly for the rest of your life. And there's no fix for that? No, but hey, what a beautiful nose you have. F Picasso! He ruined my life. You should never have had surgery so young. That's why we didn't support you. Especially not with someone who's not a professional. You should have accepted yourself as you were. No one was going to judge you. I would, honestly. I think it's better to live beautifully for a short time than live long with a bad nose. I mean, woof woof. Now, I have to inhale hundreds of medications to breathe decently because my case has no cure. The sad part is, there will always be someone who takes advantage of a low budget and low self-esteem.